you guys uh, travel, for travel for the rest of the day, day. which is, um, yeah, you're moving you're at moving 12 at again 12 now, again. right? Because the only reason why we're moving slow before is because Adon couldn't fly. Right. So 24 because of the um, that spell that you cast. Yeah, and a failing endurance. So you would get one square because that is 48. 48. 24 times 2 is 48. Okay. So I'm going to reveal a little bit more of the map. And then Rasham feeds everybody and whatnot. And then nobody needs proofing versus on anything, right? Because everybody has it at least on their main clothes. Unless they want something extra. So, uh, you find us another suitable area to camp. Oh shit! Look what I done did! All right. <clears throat> there we go. So, um, you know, night falls. You you have your, have your, your dinner your that dinner Thrasham that sort of uh, conjures, conjures with his magic, and, and uh, Azuro creates, creates this cabin, this cabin for everyone. <coughs> and, uh, and, uh, you know, the first, 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 shift, first goes shift goes by, goes by. second shift goes, shift by. goes by. So go ahead and you set ahead yourself, and up, yourself for, up for, um, as though you were on you're third, on third shift. shift. Eh. And you can delete any um, icons, icons on your character that are inappropriate. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, I wish there was like a delete all, or like you could select a group and apply the icon to that entire yeah, group. Yeah. Around here for me. Oh, shit. I thought I deleted that word, Tiger. Kind of propped up against the tree. I'm just going to uh, reset the fog real fog quick. Real quick. And then I will reveal areas once again. I can click on Toke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Oh yeah, I've also got uh, infravision. I should probably put that on, right? Oh yeah, because it's your guard shift. Yeah, all the spellcasters are up. <clears throat> That's. Yeah. Not as good and as And then uh, all the spell casters. Now.
is to uh, house is fairly protected if you're outside of it you're more vulnerable to whatever encounters you see all right but if you're on watch you can still look from inside the place I mean you have less vision but less risk close enough I think fine uh, I can run inside <laughs> everyone's piled up peeking out the door and I'm just you know sitting against the tree Has got the north door, and everybody else is just sort of cramped in the animal room. Okay. Because it's what you said, like exactly third watch, right? Yeah. Yes, exactly so, third watch. So yeah, Strashon's memorizing, Willowis memorizing, Beltol has no spells memorized, so she's up, and then Azrov's up. And uh, it is actually 3 a.m. The next morning, so that's what the seventh. Yeah. And the weather has changed to storm. So there is a storm. Why the fuck did that not play? Fucking play. Fucking play. There we go. <laughs> so, three. Yeah. October. Is it October 7th? It was the 6th last night. Four, yeah. Hmm? Hmm? What did you say? What did you say? It was the 6th before, so usually time works that way. Most of the time. Yeah. Okay. Unless there's magic involved. Yeah. And there's this this uh, loud storm going on. Shirka, it's this beautiful um, lightning show that uh, Gaia has granted to you. Until the lightning bolt hits you. <laughs> Think strikes in D and D. Yeah. And feels blessed and she uh, starts praying. And what is your prayer? Uh, just to, uh, I don't know, just to keep everyone safe and guide them out of the forest. And uh, to apologize for, you know, <laughs> the rude burning down of some of the uh, foliage and stuff. Okay. Uh, and that she'll try and, you know, do better next time. Yeah. So, Azro, you hear intermittent, intermittent between, between, well, well, between the between intermittent, the intermittent um, um, thunder, thunder strikes, strikes. Uh, you uh, hear you a hear voice, voice outside. outside. Can I tell what kind of voice it is? Sounds, Sounds uh, uh, like a female half-elf. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, the window. Okay, Azro, yeah, see what's going on. You see Shirka with like arms raised towards the sky, um, saying a prayer to Gaia and asking forgiveness for failing to prevent the burning of the woods. 
uh, uh, yesterday, yesterday morning. morning. Poor mortals in uh, beliefs. Cleanse the land. <laughs> He doesn't see anything else. Like he's curious if anything's drawn to the half elven's noises, half elven ladies' prayers. Um, it's just something that he hears outside the window. Okay. Flash window. Make sure nothing comes in. Shirka, you kind of see Azuro poke his nose out the out window the momentarily, window. and he mutters, yeah. "Grin and wave." So everyone who's awake sort of uh, <laughs> hears this um, um, Azrael's like, like spiritual, spiritual telepathic, telepathic voice say that, say that um, yeah. poor mortals poor cleanse mortals the earth or something. Earth. What'd you say? Poor mortals and their beliefs. <laughs> beings know things. Uh, is he at the window? Yeah. Taking his head out? Yeah, for a second. I'm sure he's gonna go over and pat him on the nose. Just because. Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay. I'm not a horse. <laughs> I never said you were. But be out there. You'll catch your death of cold. Nonsense. I mean, God is warm and grace. Wonderful night out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you're sort of in the distance hear a semi familiar sound shirka in between the thunderclaps as soon as i can find the track there we go <laughs> This plays in addition to the storm. No, you removed the storm. Damn. Somehow. There multiple tracks playing before. Yes. It must be gerbils. Okay. Whoa. So you heard it? Falling for their pack. Okay. okay. Alright, so the That's storm. Nerf is lost. It sounds so sad. Hug it. Yeah, the storm That's rages on. Okay. 
Just chilling out underneath the giant umbrella. Chilling underneath a giant umbrella. That is the tree that she's underneath. Okay. Watch. Coming like from his side of the house or another side? Um. Sounds like. Sounds like... It's kind of coming from coming? multiple directions. Oh. Yeah. Sounds like wolves, you might want to come inside. They can be quite dangerous. Well, they're only dangerous when they're extremely hungry, but the Forever Forest has, you know, proper food chain to support them. I don't think they're really going to attack us. But, uh... I uh, thank you for your concern. So do the wolves approach? <laughs> uh, he didn't hear that. He, they didn't hear you. Uh, they gnaw your leg off. But it's weird. It worked for. Okay. Um, the. Howling sound gets a little louder. Tess? Yeah, you're good. Yeah. The howling sound gets a little louder. And uh, you hear it coming from the south. And then nothing. Go ahead and give yourself uh, an aura for um, uh, what's it called? Uh, that's your infravision aura? Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. I gave myself the uh, aura. Um, how big is that aura? Should be sixty feet if each square is a foot. I mean five feet. Sorry. Sixty feet if each square is five feet. Yeah. So the aura is already okay. on the so map. That's, that's, that's what I mean. Squares, right? Right? Yeah, the aura is in feet, so you gotta put it not you know twelve or whatever. Uh, well, it says 60 feet, so... Yeah, yeah. that's 12 that's squares, 12 right? Square. Yeah. Okay. So that, this uh, is what you Yeah, it's however this. long it is for me, without words. <laughs> it is however it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So, yeah. You hear this, hear this uh, uh, howling getting howling closer. Getting closer. And, you know, you look, yeah, you look down to the south, to the south and south. this is what you see here. Alright. Uh... So a medium-sized, wolfy-looking creature, about 12 about squares 12. away. And, and its eyes, eyes are kind of, kind uh, of glowing, glowing red. red. <laughs> <laughs> And that's strange. Yeah. I know that's strange, right? Wolves don't usually have glowing red eyes. Yeah. What do you do? Um, so I start 
backing off a little towards the door, and I say, These wolves seem strange, guys. Do I get inside before they approach, or...? I don't know, do you? <laughs> well, I'd like to. Okay. But they can run faster than I can walk, right? Uh, well, that depends. Are you gonna, Are you gonna look uh, for the door? For the door? Uh, well, she's, at first she's gonna, like, move slowly to try and not startle them, but then she's gonna, like... I guess turn around and run through that back inside. Okay, go ahead and roll initiative, I guess. Um, um, I'm move from the initiative order here. Uh, so don't roll yet. Go ahead. You bought them. No, there's no removal. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and roll initiative. Hello, eh? Yeah. Uh, I suppose for this round, she's not really gonna do much. <laughs> you're just gonna stand there, or you, I thought you said you were gonna go for the door. No, yeah, that's what I mean, but she's not gonna, like, attack or anything. Okay, so go ahead size and go ahead and modifier. Go. Yeah, you forgot your size modifier. Stealth modifier? Your size modifier for a medium creature? It was oh, in the well, macro, the macro that I had on your character sheet character when you made your character. Your character. That you deleted, oh, deleted. I, I was, I'm just rolling the initiative on the sheet. Yeah, so you have a speed of zero? Are you, are you a tiny creature? Tiny. <laughs> no. Do you have a plus C magic short sword? <laughs> what is the uh, number for medium? Okay. I'm gonna do you uh, a solid, solid and just yeah, give you my, my initiative, initiative macro. macro. And maybe you won't delete it this time. Uh, let's see. Alright, so go ahead and deselect your character, and then select, and then select her, again. her again, and then the initiative, the initiative. macro should pop up, oh, and, and there's a drop there's down, a drop down you should click on, off. and you'll find, find there's, there's an entry for entry medium and small creatures. So involved. Uh, unarmed action, I guess. How come it's different if I'm- oh, because I'm using the weapon if it's so off. It's so confusing. Weapon table, if you pick any of the size, it does the proper amount. And then it has so like- plus, other... like a, a three is my thing for being medium. Uh, so you get to go you. first. Huh? Uh, Thrash is can't... talking to you, but he's... No, I can't hear him. Yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, he's so talking to us? The words growl. Like, he needs his own microphone, otherwise I can't hear him. No, his computer, um, it must have so noise cancellation. And it's and canceling it his own voice his own because, because he's because very soft-spoken. So, so, maybe, maybe talking louder would, would help with that. 
or increase the gain or boost on the mic somehow. That's what I do. I'm soft-spoken too, but you guys can hear me well. It seems to only cut out like the first word or so for whatever reason. Oh, now I can cut hear out you. while I turn it down. Just oh. now. So what were you saying? So the wargs approach you. Their nose all scrunched up and um, eyes going, eyes going red, red, red in your, in your uh, infrared. infrared. And they're sort of drooling like, like you would expect from rabid dogs or something. Yeah. Very, very, very unpleasantly. Very and they do I know that they're wargs or do I think they're just weird wolves? Uh, you know that you they're know wolves. That they're wolves. Okay. Then I'm gonna just shut out wargs to the people in the cabin. Okay. And, and it's your turn. So, so yeah, you shut out wargs. And I'm gonna go into the cabin. Okay. And I guess I don't need my ore anymore. Everyone wakes up to the sound, the sound of, of wars, wars, and then, and then slam, slam as, uh, as uh, Shirka, Shirka runs into the cabin. Into the cabin. All, All right. right. I guess Drax will get up. Although, okay, go ahead and roll, ahead and roll um, uh, initiative for, for getting, getting up. I guess. Up, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Pray. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna say, do we, do we need to fight them? Can we just stay in here? Uh, I was like, I, I trust these walls. <laughs> Depends on if you think they can get through or not. I mean, it just looks like a rock to them, right? Unfortunately, oh, one. Try? Into it, yeah, so. unfortunately, someone saw them run in. Yeah. yeah, but it's still pretty strong. Yeah. And that Azra was like, yeah, Azra is like, uh, um, I think if we just wait it out, we should be fine. If they try to come in, they'll have to bunch up near the door, and it'll make things easier. All right. And then Beltola, I guess he'll make an initiative and attack if anything comes through the door. Uh, everyone has to kind of spin around standing up, um, but I do want initiative. Well, as I was on guard, he wasn't yeah, sleeping. I'm talking about... Who you were just talking about, Beltola? Beltola was on guard too, because she didn't have any spells memorized. Ah. Yeah, so by this time you would have been able to memorize 12 spell levels. Okay, so uh, thrash him's up too then. I thought he was... Because yeah, it starts at 2 a.m., right? Oh, right, yeah, 2 a.m., so uh, 6 spell levels, sorry. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, he's... Go over that? Uh, just will with because he has to memorize stone skin t uh, twice, I believe, yeah. Okay. okay, so he would still be memorizing right now. Yeah. Right. So now I can roll for using a weapon, right? My initiative. Yeah. Uh, 
those. Multiple attacks. One here anywhere. Yeah, I've just left. Azero, can you get more attacks? On Azero? Yeah. Okay. So that red X board is. Not oh, whoops. Well, this would be the first one. Somehow it accidentally rolled twice. about um, Lucas? Is he still memorizing spells? Uh, I don't think so. He's only in second level spells. It's my shift, so I actually am finished memorizing spells. Okay. Yeah, you would have finished, what, 30 minutes ago? minutes ago? Yeah, at least. Okay. The bird's gonna stay at this door and attack him, I think. And give him a shit. Mm -hmm. Attacks. Uh, say that again. With a P. With an H. Um, can you can you ping him? Oh, there he is, way in the back. Okay. <laughs> Alright, everybody done? <clears throat> yeah. This is round one. Oh, you didn't do a bunch well, of I did them, but I don't know what happened. It deleted. It was like. Well, I gotta do them again, I guess. So it was 14, 21, and 30. Draz only doing one thing this round? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I rolled for my death knife, so. Beltola, is she only doing, doing one thing? Yeah, she's just moving this round. Okay. Sure, alright. Alright. Sorry about all that. Round one. Draz. Draz. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm just gonna move up to the door over here. Or were you asleep? Were you... were you asleep? I would be in reverie, I guess, so I need to oh, get up. Uh, yeah, you need to get up. Yeah. Uh, okay. So now I have. Alright. Blue, right. <clears throat> uh. Blue, uh... Um, he's just going to position himself at the door here and attack anything that comes in. So he waits, I guess, until his next multiple attack to see if anything's there. Thrash it, thrash. He is going to move. Two, one, two, three, four, and six. He's done. So watch that window. What kind of protection does the, wind, do the windows have? Um, they are wizard locked, they have an alarm, and they're as strong as the rest of the building, which is like strong as stone. Yeah. Okay. Works. Right. 
we move at 18. So these two are going to break away from the group. One will attack Shirka, then we'll attack Azro. Well, they have to get through the door first, right? Shirka didn't shut the door. Oh, wow. <laughs> I thought she did. did. She said, said it done. slammed closed. I didn't say it I slammed closed. Slam oh. I just said a slam. Said a slam. <laughs> so you, you slammed it open, <laughs> but you forgot to shut it. Um. Stone skin, right? Yeah, both, so does sure. Both sure guns, Azro, yeah. And they're stone skinned by Azro. Um, the one on Shirka rolled a one. So is. Uh, off balance. Azro loses one stone skin. Uh, what is Azro's casting level? 18. That's pretty high. Yeah, Azro is probably the most powerful spell cast from the group. Just a little bit. Okay. OP. Well, for now, Azro is anyway. Hooter. Okay, so. He is just to stay at this door, I guess, and see if anything comes through. Okay, um, Lucas. Lucas. Alright. Okay, so they're in front of me and I can see them without any issues? Um, well, well, eh. Eh. Yeah, I mean you yeah, can I mean, see them. You can see them. Um, um, attacking them attacking in melee, melee would be hard. I'm, I'm, your stand here. Here. I'm a wizard. What wizard attacks in melee? I don't know. Hey. Who has the staff? But no spells. <laughs> guess what I guess what I'm not proficient in. <laughs> All right.